Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna to talk about making it easier to achieve 100% pressure. Because if you're anything like me, sometimes it just feels like you have to really press too hard in order to get that dark opaque line. Now there's a couple of different ways to approach this problem. And the one I'm gonna to use today only works on a PC. But to start off, we're gonna close Photoshop. And one option would be to go into the Wacom tablet properties and customize the tip feel. The problem with this is that out of the box, it doesn't allow you to really soften up the required pressure enough. You can do it a little, but what I want to do is say, I only want to apply half as much force to achieve 100% pressure. And at the time of recording this video, that's not something Wacom allows. But if you have a PC and you're willing to sidestep this limitation a little bit, I'll show you how to change two numbers in a text file, save that text file, and we can have half pressure. Okay, so let's get started. The way we do that is we start by opening the task manager. And this is just going to allow us to pause the important service. Oh, if you don't know how to open the task manager, that's control shift escape. So here I'm in the services tab. And now I just scroll down to find Wacom professional service. This is the service associated with the driver. So we just need to right click and say stop. Okay, currently it'll close your, uh, tablet properties, as far as the computer's concerned, you don't have a tablet right now. The next important thing is to find the text file in question. Now I've made a shortcut to this on my desktop because it's so hard to find. Here's the path. It's a hidden file, but once you get to it, the file you need is Wacom tablet.dat. This is what stores all of the configuration for your button mappings and the pressure, all the different stuff associated with your tablet make a copy, name it something else. This will just cover your bases. Okay, once you've made a safe copy, now we need to edit the file itself in a text editor. So I'm gonna edit the original in Notepad++. That's just cause it's free. You can use whatever one you want. You could use just Notepad if you wanted. And we're gonna search for a specific string. And the string is pressure curve control point. Okay, there should be four of these. We want the lower ones in the document. The upper ones actually refer to the eraser end, and all I want to do is the tip end. Now you'll notice there are two pairs of numbers. These represent the midpoint of the pressure curve and the full extent of the pressure curve. And what do we want to do? We want to reduce the force required by 50%. And the force required number is actually the first half of each of these pairs. So right now they're a pair because it's just a one-to-one -one relationship. But we want to just take that first number, the force required number, and cut it in half. So I'm going to cut my first one, which in my case happens to be 1023. Yours might be different. But I'm going to cut it in half, so I'll say 500. And then my second one starts at 2047, and I'll just call that 1000. Doesn't need to be exact. Okay, so now they're no longer pairs. I have reduced the force required by half. So I save my change, close the text document, and then as soon as I go back to the task manager, I'm gonna restart that service. This just sort of re reboots the, the driver. And now we see if it worked. If you've left Photoshop running this whole time, you're gonna to need to restart Photoshop. That's just has to do with the way it initializes. And now let's try it out. Oh, and it is so easy. This change, making it require less force to achieve 100% pressure has been a huge deal for me. Originally, I spent years using the default settings and I actually started to develop a repetitive stress injury. I was literally wearing out my body because the default settings, in my opinion, just required too much force. So someday Wacom might acknowledge this and they might allow you to make this change within their Wacom tablet properties, but so far they haven't. So I really encourage you to try this out. Change those two numbers and it can make a world of difference. Now I've included all the file paths and the you know particular numbers to change below the post. I know this is a bit technical, but believe me, this is worth trying. Your arm is gonna thank me. All right, have fun drawing. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.